What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out one of the biggest new releases that SketchUp's rolled out this year, the ability to scan a space to a 3D model directly in SketchUp for iPad. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so one thing to note about this, and this is probably pretty obvious, but you need to have an iPad that has LiDAR scanning built in. So that's gonna be a third generation 11 inch and a fifth generation 12.9 inch. You just need to make sure that the iPad that you have has that scanner, because if you don't have a scanner, obviously you can't use it to scan a space. All right, so to access scan to design, it's going to be on the left hand side of your uh, menu bar. You can also tap the three dots and find the little icon that looks like a LiDAR scanner with a box. And so when you do first click on this, it's going to pop up a little window with uh, some instructions on how to use this. You can just click on the button for start scanning. You do need to make sure that you give access to the camera for this to work. And so then once you do this, it's going to take you into this scanning mode. And first off, I apologize for the state of my office. Um, with the amount of time I had, I could either film myself doing this or I could clean up my office and I opted for filming. But um, basically all you do is you just move your iPad around in order to scan the space. And so you can see how I'm just moving my mouse and I'm looking at the grid or I'm moving my iPad and I'm just kind of looking at this grid that's in here and notice how it's filling in the grid in areas um, where I point the iPad. Yeah. Now, one of the cool things about this is this is built on the canvas scanning technology, which means that this is going to scan this um, and it's going to scan things like walls, floors and ceilings. So you'll have an accurate ceiling height um, as well as your walls and your floors. And so once you're done with the space, what you want to do is you want to click on the button for done. And so when you click on the button for done, it's going to go through and it's going to process what you've created um, into a 3D mesh. All right, and so if you look at what this generates, this should generate three different kinds of scans, which you can find over here in your tags on the right-hand side of your iPad. So first off, you've got meshes. And so what meshes does, and you can kind of see this by clicking on the drop-downs in here, it actually creates a 3D mesh using the LiDAR scan. And that's the kind of thing that we've seen before, right, where the geometry is all kind of like squishy. So um, notice how it's smart enough to recognize things like the ceiling and put them on their own layer so you can toggle them on and off. But if I look at like the drapes in this room, for example, notice how they're not flat. They kind of come off of the wall a little bit. So things aren't necessarily flat with your meshes. Um, this is probably the most like real world accurate, but a lot of the time this isn't quite what you're looking for. And so notice how that does have the ability for you to toggle off the room and the furniture separately. Now, ideally when you scan a space like this, you want to remove things like the chair. I just left it in here just so you could kind of see what it does. But if you're actually scanning a space and you can remove furniture, a lot of the time that's a good idea. But you can see how it has a room as well as furniture in here. So in addition to the meshes, there's also the room plan. And for whatever reason, it brings in this room plan and um, it's not aligned with the uh, actual mesh that's brought in. I don't know why that is. You could just rotate the mesh. Um, I'm just gonna chalk that up to this still being kind of a SketchUp Labs feature. But this uses uh, Apple's room plan technology in order to create this really simple 3D mesh. So if you're just looking for something that's close, um, that has walls, you can kind of see the window opening that's in here as well as the door and the closet. So if you're looking for something simple like that, notice how this is going to pick up those different walls and doors. Um, so it's kind of like a simplified model. So if you're looking for something fast that has like wall thickness, this is going to work. Um, and then finally, there's the option for surfaces. Now surfaces is interesting because if you look at it, I'm gonna to toggle my furniture back on, what surfaces does, instead of it coming in here and um, you know giving you that squishy geometry from the LiDAR scanner, what it does is it comes in here and it finds planes and then it applies the textures as um, to those planes. They're basically just planes with textures applied to them. So a lot of the time what you might do, um, depending on what you're trying to do with your space, is you might toggle on the um, room walls, but then you might toggle on the meshes and just toggle the furniture. So I'm gonna toggle the room off, but notice how the furniture is in here like this. So now you've got a flat mesh for your wall like this, and then you've also got your three-dimensional furniture inhabiting that space as well. So um, it creates all three of these 
which is really interesting um, and definitely very valuable because it really gives you three different ways to utilize um, the information that's created. Now, one thing to note about this is if you jump into your settings and you go to scan to design, Notice how it's actually going to give you the option to toggle um, some different things. So for example, if you don't want it to create that room plan model, you could turn the room plan model off. You could also turn the mesh off if you just want it to create the simplified planes, or you can turn the simplified planes off as well. So you also have the ability to adjust the level of detail of the meshes using this slider right here. So it actually gives you the ability to really kind of do whatever you want using these settings. Now, one thing I want to note about this is once you create a space like this, so say that we've got this space right here. So we've created the space and I want to save it. I can click on the option to save this and you can pick a location on Trimble Connect. And in this situation, it's already kind of created that and saved it in here. So I've got it named just as Untitled 3. I might rename this to, we'll call it just Room. Room Scan, and we'll click on Done. And so then you wanna click on the three dots next to your model and click on the option for Publish to Connect. And you wanna go find a location to publish this to on your Trimble Connect. And so then you're just going to go find a folder on your Trimble Connect to save this to. So in this case, I'm just saving it in my other models folder. But then I just click on the button for publish to connect and it's going to publish this. And so once you've published that, you can go into SketchUp and just do a file Trimble Connect, do an open from Trimble Connect. And in this case, you want to go into your projects folder. And for me, it's under SketchUp. I just put it in other models, but you can see on my room scan is right here. So I can click on the option to open this. And when I open this, notice how I'm able to edit this and access it from directly inside of SketchUp itself. So whether I want that room plan model, whether I want the surfaces or I want the meshes, those are all going to show up in here and I can toggle them on and off just like this. So you can see how I can now work with this directly inside of SketchUp for desktop, which is probably going to be my workflow because most of my actual modeling is done in SketchUp for desktop. But if I make changes in here, right? So if I come in here and I do whatever, so let's say that I toggled my furniture off in here like this, and we'd probably not want to use the meshes for this. We'd probably want to use the surfaces, but say I had a different piece of furniture, I could just download it. and I could place it in the space. And obviously this particular sofa model is a little bit big for the space, that's okay. Um, but you can see how I can work with this and then when I'm done, I can just save my changes. And so then we can go to Trimble Connect, click on Save to Trimble Connect, and you can just save it over your model right here. And so you can work with it that way. So this is a really good way to get models from the real world into um, SketchUp for desktop, as well as in a way that you can actually edit with this or work with this um, on the iPad version as well. All right, so I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about this new tool? I'm excited about it. Having it built directly into SketchUp for iPad, I think is a great function, but I'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.